All right, episode 141 of the Games and Grass podcast is here. Sunny G, along with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Hello. And it's another week, another podcast. Probably the most consistent podcast on the entire internet ever in the history of the world, probably. On yeah, the planet, absolutely. in the universe. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see at this point how we can't be. No, no. Weekly podcasts only happen in this universe. Our yeah. universe. Our universe, yeah. The universe, universe is ours. You're all just living in it. Yeah. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's good to be here. It's good to be recording once again. This this time yeah. of the week seems to come around like quicker every week. Just seems to be like, oh, I record, finish recording. Yeah, that was a really good session this week. Really enjoyed it. And then it's back again. Next day we're yeah. back. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. crazy, man. It's so crazy. Time is just flying. I mean, it's May somehow. <sighs> it's gonna be May. It's <laughs> gonna be May. Yeah, I got <laughs> I don't know where the where this year's gone. Or I feel like all we've done is podcast this year. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's yeah. flown by. Crazy. How is it? It feels like the year? it feels like it should be February still. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, it does. It does. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm glad for the year to be going quick, so we can get out of this shitstorm, um, mm. which is heading really in the right direction, which is great. You know heading into the the nicer months weather wise in, although you wouldn't know it yesterday um yeah. hey the sky was yellow yesterday i put a photo I saw, on instagram i saw the photo yeah yeah that was weird. yeah i was like Hayes shit open the, the, the the lord the lord is coming <laughs> he's heard oh. all the terrible things that we've said and done and he's finally opening the clouds to come and fucking take us away <laughs> is it reckoning either that yeah. or the aliens have come down and go right we've got what we needed the TV show's recorded now, guys. Like, what? What? Yeah. yeah you're, you're all in a simulation. Like, you've seen the Truman Show, you're all in it. Yeah. Games and Grats podcast, you're coming with us. You're funny. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all have to Sweet. learn, like, some alien language. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's going to be a little Episode one or two. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. What if they have podcasts in Alien Land, wherever that is? Yeah, yeah definitely. Right. I'm sure they didn't listen to us either way. I think they do. To be honest, they might be the only people that can understand what you say, Finn. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we do respond to you. <laughs> Finn is among us. <laughs> <laughs> Finn was Finn sent stuff. from the aliens to do this podcast with us. Mm. Yep. That's me. <laughs> you caught me. That's it. My secret identity. I'm not so sure how secret Finn. it is. It's all part of the plan to anal probers. What? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Can't believe I let you do that, Finn. God damn it. <laughs> you tricked me. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Your alien mind tricks. <laughs> yeah. All he said was, can I anally probe you, please? And I was like, yeah, obviously yeah. it's for research of <laughs> some sort. But I didn't for one second think he was alien until now. <laughs> uh. Now you know. <laughs> it's a solid start. This is a, this is a yeah. I mean, this is this is a great start. This is what happens, I think, when you record after a full day of work. Like usually, mm. like, we've been recording on weekends, and you know, I'm usually pretty fresh because we record in the morning. But now, you know, like did a whole day of work, finished a couple of hours ago, had some dinner, and you know, now my, usually at this time, my my brain is starting to like settle down. And like, I'd be sort of coasting along, time to do a little bit of gaming uh, or watch some TV or something. But no, my brain is right back amongst it and having to do this for you guys. So, uh, yeah. My my evenings don't usually start until this time anyway, so it's all good for me. <laughs> I'm used to it. Finn's just sitting there like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I ain't been at work all day. Yeah, I've been off today, but normally in the evenings I'm at work if I'm on a work day. The work nights, it's always fun. So me now is like what Finn is when he joins us for the pre-show before the pre-show. Mm. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh, guys, why the fuck am I doing this? Why am I wearing a robe? What am I doing? <laughs> just want to go to bed. Yeah. Just want to go to bed, but I'm contractually obliged to do this shit. Goddamn. <laughs> Goddamn God 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 yeah. aliens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goddamn Spogenorg from 
planet creeping us none. <laughs> and we can't pass the I eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Right, let's save the day before we get any weirder. Um, <laughs> too late. Too late. We're, we're at maximum weirdness already. Yeah. I know. It, I don't weirdness. know how it's going to go from here. That's the thing. This is- <laughs> It's, it can only get better, right? Yeah, I can say or it can only get better. It's gonna, or it's going to really sort of like plummet into the pits of <laughs> shit. Uh, Finn, <laughs> what have you, <laughs> what have you been playing? Uh, what have I been playing? Playing more Persona Five. Still having about that. Just about done the first dungeon. It's a long game. The that's the uh, the pedo guy, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Komashida, the uh, creepy uh, PE teacher. Um, PE so Edo. Hey, P P E do, yeah. Yep, and the podcast has gone weirder already. Yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, yeah that, is, that is the character that he plays. It's not just me being a dickhead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a long game. I'm still technically in the tutorial after like ten hours, kind of. Um, yeah, so good. Story's amazing. Still, M- music's still amazing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I said the same last week. Um, I'm playing more Final Fantasy XIV online in the play PS5 beta. Which is How is really it? Good. Really good. It looks amazing. Loading times are just instant at this point. Now when you teleport to a new area, you just mm. boop, you're there. Which is amazing. That's my favourite thing about new consoles, I think. Just how yeah, yeah. instant everything is. Like Whereas before, you sit there and you've got to fucking scroll through your phone or something while the game <laughs> loads up. But now you haven't got time for that. And you are just instantly into a game and I love it. Yeah. That, I mean, that's definitely one of the, the best features of new consoles. Yeah, definitely. And also, given it a graphical upgrade, uh, you can play the game in 4K at 30 FPS, like you can with a lot of games. Or I think it's 2K at 60 FPS, which is what I'm playing in. Um, yeah, also the controller it vibrates similar to like Astro Bot, you know, when you're walking on different surfaces. Oh, yeah. It feels different. Like you walk onto grass, it feels different. You walk onto like the wood, it feels like walking on wood. It's amazing. I don't know how they do it, but it feels amazing. It's really amazing. I don't know how they do it either. The the dual sense controller is it's just completely insane. It's so it's good. Basically magic, yeah. Pretty uh, much, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? Or oh, the 3D audio as well is really cool. Like walk past an enemy you can hear it a lot. Much of the way in the background. Awesome. It's like, whoa, cool. I can hear it. So what what was this game on before then? So this is was this on like PS four or something? Uh yeah, it's PS4 and PC. It's been around for a long, long time. Okay. Um, and also yeah, there's it's... a big enough audience for it to go to PS5. Oh, yeah. Huge. It's easily the most popular MMO right now, uh, by far. Um, it's one of the few like, classic MMOs left, I'd say, because it's one of the ones you, I mean, after you pay a, a subscription once the trial ends. Um, okay. It's lasts a long time. You can level all the way to like max level almost before you have to uh, start paying for it. Um but sort yeah, of like very... uh, DC Universe Online. You have to pay for that. Yeah, yeah. It's like that kind of thing. Mm. But it's very old school, but with like newer touches. Like It's not like back in the old days, playing Final Fantasy XI. You have to like <coughs> wait hours to find a party. And you have to like try and talk to people. Say, hey, do you want to party up? And it's like, no, I'm too busy. Like, do you want to party up? No. It's where I'm waiting hours. I just push a button and then start searching for people for you. And then wow. you're in like, in like five, ten minutes. You're playing away. Killing awesome. enemies, which is pretty cool. And it's just, yeah, it's just amazing. The whole world building thing, like looking around, seeing people running past, like real life people, you know, hundreds of people around you just running around doing their thing. It really is like being in a different world in, in ways, you know, people just off doing their thing. You're sitting there doing your thing. Yeah, nice. man, I get it. That's that's the beauty of video games, I think. It's what I love about, like when you're playing Destiny, you know, or mm. stuff like that, when you are, you know, you're there, you're, you know, shooting aliens and shit and picking up loot. And there's other people just in the open world doing the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's cool. crazy. It's crazy. I, I love that. I really do love that. Like sort of connected world type thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's very cool. Um, yeah, so I'm plugging away at that, leveling up slowly but surely. And I think that's about it, really. I've just downloaded uh, Wreckfest of <clears throat> PlayStation Plus. Look forward mm. to playing that fairly soon. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. We should. Um, well, we talked about it in our Discord. Um, if you're mm. not part of our Discord, come and join. Um, I'm sure there's a link on our YouTube page somewhere yeah, but, the um, on the podcast there you go there you go yeah there you go um 
But yeah, we should do a community games night and play Wreckfest. As you know, it's free, yeah. so everyone's gonna have access to it. Who's you know got a PlayStation, and we should do that. Get, get some of the guys involved and just play video games to, with each other. That'd be cool. Absolutely, yeah, that'd be awesome. No streaming that. or any of that bullshit. Just you know, ch- chatting. Yeah, and that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be really really cool. We should do that. Absolutely. I, I think what I didn't know is that Wreckfest. Um, the PS5 version of Wreckfest doesn't actually come out until next month, so it's a PlayStation Plus exclusive for a month. Oh, right. That's cool. Yeah, yeah it comes out June June 1st or something like that um, right. for PS5, but they've released it early for PlayStation Plus, and it's exclusive on there until it actually comes out next month. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Good move. Smart move. Very smart move. PlayStation yeah. Plus is killing it this year. Yeah, good they are. Um, yes, that's about it for what I've been playing. I think. How about you, Steve? Nothing new. Uh, time has been uh, very, you know, very much a commodity this week. I haven't had a lot of time to do stuff, which you'll you'll come to realise when we come to the wrestling part of the podcast. Um, yeah. But I have been just dipping in and out of the usual. So Animal Crossing uh, still uh, just getting ridiculous uh, amount of hours into that. You just time just passes so quick uh, and. Uh, I've dropped back into MLB as well, trying to progress a bit further than that. I really want to finish the March to October uh, story that I'm doing at the moment. Cool. I'm not not sure how far along I am. Uh, I think I'm doing okay. I get a bit confused when they start talking about trades and what position do you want to strengthen. I'm like, I don't know positions other than bat. I'm no, I don't know. I don't know. Hit. Goalkeeper. Catch man. Yeah. Left left back. Left yeah. Wing back. <laughs> yeah. I'll. False nine. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a clue. So, but I'm I'm enjoying it. It's still still a great game. Still looks amazing. I think I'm I'm still overawed by how good some of the stadiums look. They just look, look incredible. You know, baseball stadiums look amazing. And um, you're playing on you're playing on Xbox Series S on an S. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So incredible. Good good stuff. But yeah, that that's all that's all for me this week. Unfortunately, not had much time. But yeah. <clears throat> Fair what enough. about you, Sonny? Um, I've been playing Returnal and almost Returnal exclusively because it is so good. Like, we've even peer pressured Finn into buying it when he said he was going to wait, and now he's <laughs> bought it. He bought it today. Yeah. But it on, honestly, it's, uh, <laughs> I thought, you know, it looks good. Um, you know, people were saying it's difficult and all this sort of stuff, like the reviewers and everything. But it's, I think it's the best game on the PS5 for a start. Wow. Let me get that out of the way. That's my opinion. Obviously, there are going to be people who you know think differently, and that's okay. Um, but in my opinion, it's, it's the best game on PS5. It feels like a truly next-gen game to me. Um, the way it looks, mm. it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the sound is amazing. The load times are insane. Once you start a game, when you come out of it and go back in, your game instantly picks straight back up. Wow. Cool. because of the nature of the game so it's a roguelike game um so dying you know comes with the territory mm-hmm. okay um Reset you. but but you know every time you, you you know there's different ways to to do it you know you you will find a loadout that works for yourself um but you know you're gonna die a bunch of times before that <laughs> and but it, it you know it's so addictive i've died a heap of times like I've, you know get to the get to the boss heap, heap. <laughs> get to the boss and you know, I you know, get down and get him down to like a quarter energy, and then he fucking kills me because I'm a, a, a flap. But I've got his, <laughs> I've got his pattern figured out, and then I just flap and die like a dickhead. <laughs> like I get shot by the bits that I know I can avoid and have been avoiding. But <laughs> it's just so good. It's super addictive. I've probably played uh, 12, 13 hours already. Wow. And games nice. do not keep my attention for very long. Listeners of this <laughs> podcast will know. Um, <laughs> but, you know, this has really got me. And I I just think it's incredible. I think it's, I think the atmosphere is some of the best of, I've ever experienced in a, in a video game. And it's just so interesting and accessible and difficult. It's like a, a hybrid of everything rolled into one. It's like, it's not Dark Souls difficult, but it's not like, Astro Bot easy. Yeah, yeah. Walking the it's, not walking the park. Yeah, it, and it's just so good. Like, you find your own way of playing it, and then, you you know, you're going to die when the game fucks you over and doesn't give you the way you want to play it. 
<laughs> so, oh, you like using this weapon? Yeah, well, fuck you. Here's this other weapon. Use that. <laughs> Here's a stick. Use that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, you like, here, oh, you like doing using the carbine? Great. There's a shotgun. But he's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> um, but it's so good, Finn. I, th- I think you're going to absolutely love it. I really yeah. do think you're going to love it. Um, well, yeah. But everything I've seen so far is definitely looks like my kind of game. I like Broken Legs anyway. I like this kind of atmosphere. It looks very sort of Metroid-ish, um, which I like a lot. And yeah. just, yeah, difficulty. I always like difficult games. I remember when I see someone say, oh, it should be like an easy mode. It's like, well, if it's an easy mode, that kind of takes away what the point is, you know? You can just blast yeah, through it without trying, then what's the point? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It, would, it, would take the, it would take the point of the game away. Exactly, the point yeah. of the game away is that you, you die. And then you come yep. back and you die again and you die again and you die again. But it there's just it's just such a brilliant game. It's so addictive and you're like, okay, I'm gonna go for one more run. I'm gonna go for one more run. <laughs> but then some runs can last absolutely ages, other runs can like be real quick because because the game is like procedurally generated, like the areas are, are different every time you play. You have yeah, like yeah. certain areas that are the same. Um, because they have to be for progression purposes, I assume. <laughs> um and to make the story make some sort of sense. But for the most part, the, the areas are different every time. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's mind blowing. It's really, really good. And it's completely blown my expectations out of the water. It's, it's really incredible. And I can't wait for you to play it. I really can't wait for you to play it. So I can like talk to you about it. And so I can hear your thoughts on it because I think you're really going to love it. Absolutely. It just looks amazing. Like watching like all the projectiles fly around and they're maintaining like 60 FPS. Like, that's very cool. Particles, <laughs> it, like, particles. The, yeah, the, the game just deals with particles so well. Yeah, like, every little bit of detail. It's just unbelievable. Beautiful sixty FPS, four K. Oh, oh man, it, that, that <laughs> is the this is the PS five at its best. This is what you want from your next gen consoles. Yeah, you know th- this is this truly feels next gen. It's not on PS four or anything like that. So you you know this is a fresh game for PS five, and you know it's the f- first game that truly feels. Like a next gen game to me. Absolutely. I can't wait to play it. I have it on the way. It's going to be jump up to my list of must plays. Peer pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <two guys. laughs> that and, the, and like a discount thing on eBay. It's like, well, now I've got to get it because it's cheap. Well, cheap yeah. That, I mean, your arm was twisted real quick there. <laughs> it was a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yeah. It's, it's 70 quid on PSN or you get 55 off eBay. It's like, well, <laughs> I don't want to do it. Yeah, I um, I got it off. <laughs> I got it off shop too. There's no way I was paying uh, PSN prices for it. Yeah, absolute jokers. It's a bit much, isn't it? Just a touch, yeah. But that's <laughs> all I've been playing, and I've been really enjoying it. And I can't wait to go back on it tonight when we've finished recording this. Awesome. I said to Kaylee, I was like, she's on Animal Crossing at the minute, and I was like, I'm <laughs> gonna have a few runs on Returnal tonight. She's like, I don't care. I'm like, I don't <laughs> but that's <laughs> what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Yeah, it's like two very opposite games going on there. Animal Crossing and Returnal. Yeah. <laughs> the complete opposite. Well, it's, the, it's the first game that's made me have a Mardi in a little while as well. <laughs> like, I don't Mardi at games anymore, but this, like when you're so close. like So basically, I'm trying to get to this first boss with an extra life pack and like my life sort of built up a bit extra. Hmm. Um, so that when I get there, and I'm with the gun I like as well. I like the carbine, just like a machine gun type thing. Uh, so when I get there, you know, I'm fully equipped and I think, right, I can do this now. But they always throw a lockdown room in where basically you've got to kill all the enemies before you can fucking go anywhere. <laughs> and cool. like to shut the alarm off type <coughs> thing. That's not a spoiler, it's just a thing. What happens yes, in the game. Yeah. The game so the game always seems to throw that crap at me just as like, I think, right, I'm fully equipped now. Let's get to the boss. Hopefully there's a red gate somewhere so I can <laughs> just go there. No. No, no, no. Hey, look, here's all these massive enemies. It's like, Fucking use your spare life back on dickweed. That'll teach you for <laughs> wanting to wanting to progress. <laughs> so I get there with just one life bar. And that's it. I'm yep. fuming. But it, you know, it's, it's just a, cool. a great game, and I keep going back. So um, yeah, that's what I've been playing this week. I love it. Cool. That was short this week. We usually like play loads of stuff, but mm, this week we're yeah. like, right, maybe we're, maybe we're getting better at this. Maybe we're, we're like getting focused. better at playing games. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking also to played, one thing. I played some Fall Guys as well, here and there. Just, it's my FIFA. Just Don't in. ruin it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> We've been playing one game. <laughs> That's one of those games. Just always <laughs> or a couple of games. Yeah. It's been delayed, hasn't it, for um, 
Switch and Xbox. Yeah, so apparently they're waiting. Yeah, apparently they're waiting for um, like cross compatibility to come in because apparently that's going to be a thing soon. Which is a bit worrying because PC on PC there's a lot of hacking going on. So that's going to come to console as you well. You shock me. Yeah, that's going to be a whole thing. Ugh. Still, Ugh. Ugh, damn PC sweaty gamers there. Yeah, you fucking nerds. <laughs> Nerd basement dwellers. <laughs> Mouse <Is> that... <laughs> <laughs> um, So we've got quite a bit to do this week. Now, what mm. do we do? Do we do we have gaming news? Do we do the releases? Do we do the eliminate or do do we do the heap? What do we do? Heap. Um, I'll get to some uh, gaming news quick. Uh, and a few things might be worth Let's talking about. Do it all. Cool. <laughs> we've got so much to do. I feel like we've added some real structure to this otherwise renegade podcast. <laughs> <laughs> renegade. Yeah. Uh, cool. So a bit of gaming news. Uh, I saw on Twitter some weird rumor of another Xbox console uh, called the Xbox Series V, which is apparently a digital-only Series X and slightly less powerful. Which to an S then. So yeah, it's a Series S. It's just a black Series S. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I it's thought it's like... going to be like an Xbox flashlight when you said V. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, that's that's coming. That's something else coming soon. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess it's just somewhere in the middle of both. If this is even the thing, it's probably just made up. Why? But I don't know. Why not, I guess. Good money. If it's going to be a digital-only Xbox Series X, like with that same power, uh, yeah. okay, I, I would sort of understand if it was going to be a lower yeah. price point. But if it's just going to be less powerful and black, then it might as well just be the Series S, but yeah, black. Yeah. A bit black, yeah. Like black console, white circle thing. <laughs> You know, mm. maybe, there's, maybe there's more to it than that, but that was just like the rumor, just like a picture of like the X, the B, and the S together. So yeah, interesting. And it could be completely made up as well. Who knows? <laughs> well, <laughs> the knows internet doesn't really make things up, so uh, oh, it's yeah, probably true. real. It's no, everything, everything on the internet is true. Yeah, very <laughs> true. Um, so PlayStation have made a, tra- a trademarks uh, Sunset Overdrive, so there's a chance that could be coming to uh, PlayStation. Have the sequel or the original game ported over? Um, I think do both. Just bring, you know, the original's there. Mm. Just stick trophies on it, change the button looks, and then bring it out because it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a fun game for sure. Well, I never got around Steve, to, but it looks awesome. Steve, if, that, if that's on Game Pass, you should definitely try it. It's brilliant. I'm not. I mean, I would assume it is, but I'm not sure it is at the same time. <laughs> it's mm. yeah. I'll have a look. Mm. I know what you mean. Like it's it because it's Insomniac, and Insomniac and our playstation studio yeah yeah so i'm not sure whether that xbox exclusive that's now a playstation studio it's oh my god i'm so confused <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm sure okay. i'm sure whatever exclusive exclusivity xbox had it would be long gone by now <clears throat> so i'm sure it'll, you can i would imagine so yeah any trouble mm. yeah that's an old old game at this point it is really old now was it 2015 maybe yeah something like that Good game. Really good game. So original in terms of uh, concept and gameplay. It's really, really good. Yeah, awesome. Um, so PlayStation, once again, have made an investment in Discord and mm. plan to have some sort of Discord integration with PS5 in by early 2022. Yeah, this Ooh, is an interesting U-turn, really, because mm. it was only like a couple of weeks back where Microsoft were... Um, like in talks or rumored to be purchasing Discord in some yes, capacity. Apparently, yes, apparently they made an offer to buy Discord for ten billion dollars. Like, I don't understand billion. why it's worth that much. Yeah, I know, right? That's, that's a hell of a lot of money. If they saw our use of Discord, they'd devalue <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not just ours. Everyone's use of Discord. Oh yeah, um, yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know. But obviously, Discord is extremely popular amongst uh, gamers and the like. Mm-hmm. So having it having it integrated into consoles would be a very cool thing for sure. I think the uh, the hope of cross play chat with PC players mm. is um, a big thing with this. Yeah, that'd be very cool. But um, yeah, that's that's really cool. So it'd be interesting to see sort of what they do as part of this sort of partnership early next year. I read that earlier on. Yeah, so it's a little while away yet, but. It's happening, so it's cool. Very cool. Uh, I spoke about it quick, briefly earlier. The PlayStation Blessed games are out now. We've got Wreckfest, uh, as well as Battlefield Five, and a game called Stranded Deep, which is a uh, survival open world sort of game. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. There they are, Good. stranded deep. Yeah. There, there's the PlayStation Plus games for May. We'd show you the Xbox <laughs> ones, but they're absolute shit, so there's no yeah, point. No. no. Uh, but yeah, Battlefield 5 apparently has been struggling uh, with, as far as multiplayer games go on PS4. As in, there's not a whole lot of people playing it, so this is a good way to get it boosted and have more people playing on it. That's is that the last one that came out? Um, I, I thought Battlefield know. One was the last one that came out, but I don't even know. Oh, I've lost track at this point. I don't keep track of it, but yeah, Battlefield One, I think, is the most recent. I could be wrong. I know. I have no idea. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Speaking of Series X, uh, well, Xbox Series, whatever. Um, the games of gold might be shit but they have just made, got a patch put out a patch to increase the frame rate of a lot of backwards compatible games yeah a hell of a lot like what was it like 60 I think 90 actually uh, there was 74 that were, were oh. done yesterday I think and there was a bunch more like the week before ah got it wow. yeah, yeah. I got less they had loads and loads of games not just 60 FPS but like 120 hertz as well mm. which is pretty mad um not every single Lego game ever made on here. <laughs> yeah, Sleeping Sleeping Dogs is a real standout there. If you ever played Sleeping Dogs, oh, yeah. um, sixty FPS. Um, Game Me just tagged me in a uh, a video on Twitter of uh, Colt Eastwood, who's um, like a big Xbox uh, big Xbox guy playing it, and um, yeah, it looks amazing. Um, that's a great game anyway. Super yeah. game. Yeah, awesome. I've uh, got the game Alien Isolation. It's really good. Yeah, uh, the Battlefield Five's on there. Yeah, Battlefield uh, 1's on there as well, I think. Uh, it well, is, Battlefield yes. 5 must be one of the new ones, but Battlefield 1 was last one. I don't know. I'm so lost <laughs> with the Battlefield games, I have no idea which one is when it came out. I know, I'll have to keep track. Um, we've got the Gears of Wars games. I think it might, might have already been on there, to be fair. Uh, Life is Strange, very cool. Yeah. Uh, Watch Dogs 1 and 2. Uh, Titanfall, which Titanfall Two, which has a ridiculous player base once again, it's gone. It's a real surge in popularity there for some reason. But uh, nice. yeah, that's 120 FPS, I think, as well. Very cool. And yeah, it's a huge amount of games there. You're good to six as well. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, huge amount of game amount of games. A good time to be an Xbox owner for sure. Yeah, I mean, both consoles are killing it this generation so far. Yeah. Like, the more time. that they try and outdo each other, they're like they're just making life better for the rest of us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I mean, like, I mean, Game Pass is always going to be amazing. Always. PlayStation Plus, you know, is giving us amazing games every month for, for you know, just your membership. Mm-hmm. Um, and not only, like, games that have been on PS4, but, like, brand new stuff, like Wreckfest PS5 version, for example. You had Oddworld last month. And, yeah. you know, it's just this was something else. Destruction All-Stars, you know, which was a brand new IP, which went straight to PlayStation Plus. So it's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so much, and you know, with Xbox doing all this stuff, like bringing FPS boost to a shitload of games, basically breathing new life into them. Yeah, it's, it's cool. such a great, great time to be a gamer, regardless of which console you own. Um, you know, it's a really good time to be a gamer. It's, it really is, big time. Absolutely, I think that's about it for gaming news. But it is the first podcast of the month, so you know what that means. We know what that means. Oh yes, here we go. <laughs> it's time for the games of the month. Hell yeah! So, we spoke about it just now. <laughs> Wreckfest just came out on PS5. Yep. Completely free if you have PS Plus. Very nice. And in a couple of days, we have Resident Evil Village on PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. Yeah, man, that's uh, that's a big one. It's a bit. Uh, it huge one. <laughs> hey, I can't, can't wait for this. Resident Evil, obviously, it's a, I'm a big, big fan of ever since like, the first one on PS1. Um, go over this. Yeah, it is amazing. All the trailers we've seen are amazing. All the gameplay I've seen from like the demos and stuff. Look, I haven't played the demos myself because I don't want to spoil myself just yet. Yeah, but, same here. I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to ruin it, so I stayed away from the demos. I mean, um, you know, in our Discord, they were saying that there wasn't much spoilery stuff in there, but I still wanted to uh, avoid it just so I can experience it for myself. Yes, me too. It's gonna be great. Um, then we have, one week later, on the 14th of May, uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. All three games, original three games, bundled together, HD'd up. Yeah. Very cool. Um, Any, either you, Mass Effect looking, fans? You gonna get that? Me? No. <laughs> no, me neither. No, <laughs> fair enough. Did you play the originals? I, I have played them. Mass Effect 1 is boring. Mm. Um, two's good, and three's okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the same boat. Apparently, they're... Um, 
enhance the combat in one to make it more uh, on par with the other two. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I was never. I always liked the Mass Effect games, but I was never like super into them. I think they're overrated. So like, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, I think they're. I think they're massively overrated. I know people are like huge fans of them, but. Um, yeah, you can't have just one really good one out of a series and, and then all of a sudden it become iconic. I'm having none of it. Yeah, I was... They're just fan. fine. They're fine. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, you know, there's a big fan base out there, so... Yay for them. Yeah, yay for them. <laughs> Happy for them. Yeah. Uh, there was a game called uh, Sub Subnautica Below Zero, which is the sequel to the first one. Yep. Which is a open world uh, survival thing, I think, on a boat. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Coming out on everything. Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox. One series BC. Wasn't this on the state of play that was shown last week with the Ratchet and Clank stuff? I think it was actually, yeah. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Looks good. I'm not going to play it, but yeah, it looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks good, but yeah, I'm going to play it. Uh, then we have on the 18th, Days Gone coming to PC. Another place that's been uh, exclusive going to PC. Good game. Too long, but it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah, that's another one I really need to play because they've updated it for PS5, haven't they? They have. Um, and it, I mean, it was free on it was free on the PlayStation <coughs> Plus collection anyway, but mm. it was part of PlayStation Plus last month or the month before. Uh, yeah, last month I think. Yeah. Yeah. Good game, but it's a really good game, but it's just so long. <laughs> yeah. And it can be longer as well. It's just if you do everything, you'll that's all you'll play forever. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> um, there we have on the same day, uh, Ledger Two Larry Wet Dreams Die Twice. Hell Let's yeah! See the last one. <laughs> I know uh, Biz and my Discord's a big fan of Legend Suit Larry. How how are these games still being made, these Legend Suit Larry ones? I thought these would have been like outlawed ages ago, cancelled <laughs> for being perverted and all the rest of it. I know, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a classic franchise. Gives years and years back, probably still a big fan base for them. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a fair play. That is a long-standing series now. I mean, Jesus, I remember that going back to when I was younger. Yeah, it's like MS DOS days. Old that old? I think so, yeah. I think so. Wow. Around the same sort of time as like Monkey Island and stuff like that. Wow, okay. Yeah. Um, then we have, um, it's on the same day, Akaba's trip, hellbound and debriefed. Debriefed because you take your pants off. Um, Hell oh, switch. hellbound and debriefed, right, okay. Yeah. Um, so it's a game, it's an anime game, shocker. Um, bound that you're vampires and you've got to take the clothes off to kill them because sunlight, I guess. You're exposing their skin to sunlight to die, you've got to take the clothes off. So exposing their titties to sunlight, basically, yeah. because perverts. And yeah, sign vagina, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Ak I, I didn't realize this yesterday. It's Akaba's Strip. Akaba Strip. Akaba's Strip. Get it? Strip. This one? Yeah. Akbar's strip undead and undressed. That's one. I forgot those pictures were there. The Lords would have been picking them up. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the one. Akbar's strip. Oh, Akbar's yeah. strip. <laughs> yes. Will so you be these, playing that these... one? Me? No. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Uh, yes, yeah, so all the listeners, we do have pictures coming up on screen. At least we would have had more, but I forgot they were there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, That's right, I've, been, I've been picking up the slack. I've been. Oh yeah, been... okay. I haven't been looking at that stream. <laughs> so I've got that screen up and ready. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, audio guys. Our, our video podcast is far more interesting these days. It's just pictures yeah. and context to things for the most part, and <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good time. Cool. <clears throat> um, then we have uh, Uncharted Waters Four with Power Up Kids HD version. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And PC. What the fuck. Uh, it's found in an open world 2D boat game. It's found in an old game. game. Got boat <laughs> game. A boat. You're on a boat. And you got to shoot at the I'm boats. I'm on a boat. I guess. Pretty much. I'm on a boat. <laughs> uh, I found it's an older game that got uh, remastered. And it's out soon. I need to put a date on that one. On the 20th. Okay. There you go. Uh, on the 21st, we have Metopia Game to Switch, which was originally a DS game, or 3DS game, which is a it RP... It's fucking terrible. I played the demo just oh. a few days ago. <laughs> uh, I downloaded the demo because it's on the Switch store now. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Oh my ah. god, it's horrible. Like the, the, the way your character runs along, that was enough to give me the shit. It went straight <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, I've had it. It's been quite popular for it to come out on Switch as well. 
So, who well, knows? Good for those people, but I played it and it gave me the shits. <laughs> no. uh, uh, so, on 25th, we I'm have. Just, I'm just there, like, watching my me roll on the screen. It's like, plan, 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 plan. Like, just shit everywhere. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> I might play it later. Yeah. Don't, no, I, don't, don't, you'll give you the shits. <laughs> Lose a bit of weight. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Finn was really bit. excited for Metopia <laughs> until I just did that. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> ruined it. Ruined the point. Uh, when you're we have a game I've forgotten existed because it's been announced years and years ago uh, by a mutant. Or PS, PS4, PC, and Xbox One. I, know I thought this was already out. <laughs> yeah, I know virtually nothing about this game. Even you know, I recognise the box art. I recognise. I know there's like at least one trailer. I, rec- I remember the uh, announced trailer from years ago. But I've, I've, I've seen no gameplay or anything, which is a bit worrying. I haven't shown it off yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. I recognise it as well. But the other thing that concerns me here is THQ Nordic. Yeah. They, honestly, I mean, I don't mean to slate anybody, but you know, a lot of the games that come out under that umbrella are just not good. Yeah. Because they just bought everything, didn't they? Remember that? When they were just like spending loads of money on IPs and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see what that's like in a few weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So the same day, a game I'm excited for, and a game you two won't have heard of, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. We're on about a pre release of uh, a. <laughs> yeah, it's a remaster of a game, a PS2 game, RPG, from the same series I've shown this from, so I'm excited for that. Uh, they're That's super the popular, them games. Yeah, very popular. A fifth yeah. one's coming out on Twitch sometime soon, hopefully this year. I haven't announced it yet, but. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Well, that, I mean, them games are supposed to be really great. Not for me, obviously, but Finn, it's cool that you're excited about that one. Yeah, very excited. Very cool. And the last game on the list I've got is a game called World's End Club coming out on the Twitch, which is, as well as I can tell, a detective sort of game, um, solving puzzles, hanging out with your mates, um, and stuff like that. It's made by the same guys who made the Zero Time Dilemma games, which you wouldn't have heard of, <laughs> but are, nope. it's a sort of like escape room puzzle games with like a big emphasis on the story. They're very, very cool. I recommend checking them out. I think they're on PS4 now as well. Oh, okay, they're, cool. Everything on um, Vita, Vita and 3DS, I think. There can only be one pick of the month, really, can't there? Uh, yeah, of course. It's got to be Resident Evil, right? Yep, 100% Resident Evil. Um, yeah. It's going to be great. I can't wait. It looks really good. Um, yeah, that's can't my wait. pick of the month. Same Not that or Meetopia. Akavist- yeah, no, that or Akavist Trip. I can't decide. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's a difficult choice. Titties! <laughs> Is there two different? Is there two different names for it? Because you called um, it something else. Did I? Yeah. No, oh, Akab- Akabus Trip. I, get, I was just saying like Akabus Trip, Akabus Strip. Put the second clothes off. Get it? Strip. Oh, I thought it had a different name in America to what it did here. Don't think so. <laughs> oh well. Anyway. Sonny's losing it. Sonny's lost a lot. I am. I, I told you I'm losing it. I told you at the beginning of this episode I was losing it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there it. we go. Games of the month. That was painless, to be fair. Yeah. What? Fairly painless. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I know I know I completely crapped on Metopia there, but it is really bad. That bad. Mm. Wow. I might download the demo to find out. For a Nintendo game, I a first party Nintendo game, it's not good. Weird. Fair I just to be honest, I couldn't deal with the way that your character moves. That was bad enough. <laughs> was that, was that the only thing you saw? Is that oh, that's moves are weird, I'm deleting that. It's just horrible. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it might get better, but I, you know, I wasn't going to give it the chance. It lost me straight away. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> right, let's. Uh, so we brought this new feature in last week, the games and grabs game heap. heap. And uh, last week we did video games based on movies. This week we're going to actually, you know, keep in with the theme of our podcast and do wrestling video games, gentlemen. Yes. I'll make this first one very easy for you. The Simpsons wrestling on the PS1. Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never played it, but I've seen, like, I've heard legends of how bad it is. So, yeah. I don't even know why this game was made. Because Simpsons. 
because Simpsons are popular, wrestling was popular, mash them together. There you go. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of awful Simpsons crossovers. Like, there's a Simpsons mm. skateboarding on the PS2 as well, which oh, is yeah. really terrible. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's not good. Capitalizing on the popularity of Tony Hawk Tony and Hall, the likes. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Bart Simpson's on the cover on a skateboard because, of course. Hmm. So, yeah, Sim- Simpsons Wrestling is very firmly in crap. Yeah, on the crap aisle. Yeah. For those, yeah, if, if you've not heard this before, so what we do, we take five games of, um, you know, whatever genre, and we have Legend, Decent, Bang Average, Lacking, or Crap, and you put the games that we talk about into one of those. Uh, Simpsons Wrestling is definitely in the bottom with the rest of the crap. Yes. Right. Next up. This beaut. <laughs> WrestleMania oh. 2000 from the Nintendo 64. Steve, this is a game that you will know very, very well indeed, just like myself. Yeah, absolutely. Even though I did not own an N64, this game was integral to our Post school gaming sessions and yeah. weekends uh, in the well, 2000s, 2001 sort of era. Amazing, amazing game. Just so good. Um, remember that time you beat Goodwin's record and he turned the N64 off before he yeah. could save it? Yeah. 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 He was Excellent. like, he, he thought it was bullshit that I beat him by submission. You know, one of the actual ways you could win yeah. in a wrestling match. I've worked the leg. I got him in a figure four with Shawn Michaels. He's tapped out off in the championship. He turns yeah. the 64 off in a month. Turns it off. I believe it. Because, because didn't, it, uh, didn't it save your, if you had some sort of streak going on, it would show you that, wouldn't it? In the same, Am I right in that or have I made that up? No, that's right. Yeah. So you could would... create like the championships. Yeah. And um, your defense, the amount of defenses that you had would carry on. Yeah. And it would yeah, show yeah. on there how many times that title had been defended by that person. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but no, it's an excellent game. Uh, even though it had that dodgy uh, issue around saving, didn't it? it oh no, that was no sort of... mercy. Was that no, was that the other one? I can't. Yeah, I that was no mercy. Yeah, the, the first that batch one. of no mercies that came out, or at least some of them, were yeah. defective and didn't save. So yeah, uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember it was one of the two. But no, great game, legendary. legendary. Absolutely legend for me, Finn. Um, yeah, I haven't really played it that much. I played it on like an emulator years, 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 years later. Um, but yeah, I can see why it's so highly regarded. So yeah, legend for sure. There we go. WrestleMania 2000. What a game. Better than No Mercy. What? Oh. It's that. Yeah, man. <laughs> ECW Anarchy Rules from the PlayStation. Uh, I think this also came out on Dreamcast possibly as well. Yeah, I think it actually. Uh, so this was made by Acclaim. So they made, uh, so prior to this, they'd done, well, ECW Hardcore Revolution and uh, WWF Warzone and Attitude. Mm. Um, so the, it was very much sort of combo-based uh, yeah. gameplay. You have to like press diff- different buttons in. It's like a fighting game, basically. So it's like down, uh, like left down square would be a DDT. Because, yeah. hey, why make it simple? <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad that wrestling games changed after this, but you know, it was it was just such a weird game. Mm. It, it didn't feel like ECW. It felt like WWF Attitude, but poor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Weapons. Yeah, it's yeah. a really strange game. Like really strange game modes. Massive roster. Um, terrible commentary. Uh, not a lot. I don't want to go as far as saying it's crap because. I did have some enjoyable times with it. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put it in lacking. Mm. That's fair. Uh, I would put it, yeah, pr- probably bang average. I mean, I remember playing this around your house and I suppose it was one of those where it was like, oh, we've, we've done Smackdown to death. Should we, should we mix it up a bit and mm. let's play as just incredible versus Tommy dreamer, you know, just shit yeah. and stuff like that. So you can mix it up a bit, but the um, like you say, the 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 way that they did it, you know, like you say, with the up down circle was a DDT and uh, yeah, up left square was a suplex. You know that uh, I'm just not very good at that sort of thing. So, but that's me. That's not necessarily the game. So I'll probably put it in bang average. Hmm, that's fair. I mean, uh, you know, this was it was weirdly enough, it was simplified in comparison to Attitude and yeah. Hardcore Revolution. Yeah, 
because Hardcore Revolution like featured an attitude featured far more sort of strenuous combos for moves. Yeah, but yeah. Um, Anarchy Rules they lightened it a little bit. But yeah, yeah. it's um, yeah, not a not not a great game. Finn, have you ever played this one? Uh, I've not. Uh, so don't we know much about it? But judging by the fact it's not SmackDown or <laughs> <laughs> no no mercy, um, and the fact that I played. Uh, WWE Attitude, which I wasn't, a, I didn't really like that much, so I'm gonna put it in. Very similar. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in lacking. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. That's totally fair. I mean, to be honest, the, if you've played Attitude, it's that with ECW people. Yeah, yeah that's what I know. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Um, so not great reviews. You've given it the best review there, Steve. I put it in bang average. Mm. Yeah. WCW Thunder from the PlayStation. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear! Um, sequel to WCW Nitro. Mm. When uh, this is before THQ took on the WWE license and started bringing out the SmackDown games. Nice character models. Um, sad in that picture. Like, it was <laughs> He's nice. in the He just looks sad. Yeah, he does look pretty <laughs> good, doesn't he? That's <laughs> This video game mm. sucks. <laughs> that's what he's saying. If you look this on his face, the... that's that's what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. Also, look how young he is there. Yeah. yeah. People, people who aren't watching the video version of this, it's Goldberg on the cover. Yeah, um, at least sad. it was the it was Goldberg on the cover in this country, at least. But uh, young yeah, Goldberg. He looks, he, yeah, very young Goldberg. Mm. Still boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a this is such a weird game. I mean, like WCW Nitro um, was kind of cool at the time, but they brought this out, and it didn't really change an awful lot. In fact, it was probably mm. worse. The coolest thing about it was like the the on the character select screen. If you press the button, the guy would there'd be like a little vignette that'd play of the person talking as to why you should pick them to play as. Yeah, okay. Right. And um, yeah, there was a huge roster, and there was a cheat code. I think I've mentioned it on the podcast before, but it has the greatest like hidden character of all time. Oh yeah, and it's not, it's a horse called Hoofhearted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Literally, literally hoof-hearted. It's just, it's, it's an. Uh, that's the, that's probably the best thing about that game. And because of that, it goes in lacking and not crap. <laughs> yeah. Steve, did you ever play this with us? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I d- um, probably, but the fact that I don't remember probably tells you how good it was. Yeah. <laughs> I, I def- If you owned it, we probably, we probably had a, probably had a dust up. But um, yeah, I don't remember. I don't really remember it. So would be harsh for me to uh, place it anywhere. But the fact that I can't remember it probably tells you a lot. Yeah, fair enough. It's it's not a great game. Put it that way. Mm. Um, next time we're all together, we'll we'll play some of these old games because I have them all on my PlayStation Classic. Excellent. That'd be cool. So we'll we'll yeah. ha- we'll, ha- we'll have a look at them. But yeah, um, do you be Thunder? Finn, have you ever seen anything of it? Um, not really. I was more of a WWE guy or WF guy back in the day. So I, I, I saw Goldberg pointing. I was like, ah, not for me. It looks too sad. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know much about it. Uh, I agree, agree with you guys that it's you know, lacking, I suppose. The fact that I haven't heard of it or seen anything of it probably speaks mm. volumes. <laughs> YouTube it and you'll know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I've picked some real, I picked real random games here because I, I thought it was too obvious to go down the, because SmackDown 2 you know all the all of the popular ones. You know we we all have fond memories of them. So I'd like to sort of dig into the ones that maybe are a little bit shit. Yeah. Um, or with the exception of this next one. Uh, so the fifth and final one for the uh, this week's games and grabs game. Heep. Heep. WWE SmackDown. Here comes the pain on the PlayStation Two. Yes. Um, arguably the greatest of all time. It's so good. I actually played this not long ago because when I was sitting on my PS Two. I was like, I need a game to test out. Uh, what's SmackDown? Here we go. I was meant to, intended to play it for like two minutes just, just to like make sort of play certain suit working. I started for like half an hour. <laughs> just just playing, yeah. having matches. Like, that's so much fun. It's so um, good. Like, it's yeah. so good even now. It's like mm. just in, just an incredible game. Um, I love yep. the ridiculousness of the connections and like how like hard hitting they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like arcade It's like an arcade sim. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the pain. Um, there's just something real special about it. It was like felt like a real turning point for the for the SmackDown series. Yeah. Obviously, after this one, it transitioned into SmackDown versus Raw. Mm. 
Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Uh, the first couple of them are really good as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was, it was just something about Here Comes the Pain that um, I think I'll always gravitate towards in terms of it being one of the best ever. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, just, it's just fun. You don't need to know the controllers really well. You don't need to know like any of the guys going into it, really. Like, even if you're not a wrestling fan, you don't need to know. You, know, you just punch people, do some fun moves, and, you know, have to weird commentary in the background. <laughs> And the cool music. This one doesn't have commentary. I know you're right, actually. I know I was thinking of a different one. But yeah, you're right. Down I... 3 was the one that you're thinking of, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Taz, Taz and Michael Cole. <laughs> yeah. It's so, like, The Rock. He is great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember you no, played right. it on stream. Yeah, yeah. Fun times. But you're right. This is the one with the cool music in the background. Mm. Um, yeah, it's so good. I want to play it again now. Now we're talking about it. I want to go play it. It's so good. You can watch me and Finn play it on... Um, on our YouTube channel somewhere in the depths, yeah. it's, there, <laughs> it's there somewhere. But it's <laughs> yeah, it's it's a while ago. But it's uh, it's definitely there. Um, go check that out. It's, it's, that was good fun. Yeah, awesome. I love so, yeah, that because that was the that was the first time the elimination chamber was in a uh, wrestling game. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, okay. And uh, you could like jump off it. It was great, and they did bounce around ridiculously. It was fucking. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, land, land yeah, the neck and just blah, 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 around like a Yeah, you could jump off the SmackDown fist as well. Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Good times. So good. All right. So that was this week's edition of the Game Heap. We'll be back uh, with that yeah. next week in another new category. But yeah, I enjoy I, I enjoy this. It's a good feature. Yeah. I like yeah, it. it's cool. <laughs> Very cool. There we go. Right. God, we have we have like segments galore these days. We do. That's it. But none more important than this next one. We <laughs> <laughs> get it. Yeah. I won last week and clawed a measly point back against Finn Steele's four. It's currently 4-1 to Finn, but it's time for a brand new edition of the Eliminator. Yeah. I got it that slaps, that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Definitely. I'm not feeling confident, must be said. I, I don't feel like I can win two weeks in a row. Well, you're gonna have to. Well, you're gonna have to. Well, we shall see. Finny Omega to eat your ass. <laughs> I'll play that. <laughs> Please play that. Uh, oh, which one is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. Right, <laughs> you all know the rules. Five lives each. The person who runs out of lives first loses. In the event that you both end up with zero lives at the same time, there is a sudden death question. Are you both ready? Ready. ready. On my first whistle. No, <laughs> we won't do that. Gladiators. You will go on my first whistle. Right. <laughs> Disclaimer before I start. As I say all this every time, if the answers are wrong, don't blame me. Blame the internet. Mm. Question number one. Which Wii U game has the highest rating on Metacritic.com? Is it A, Breath of the Wild, B, Super Mario 3D World, C, Super Smash Brothers, or D, Rayman Legends? Hmm. I forgot Breath of the Wild is on the Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> So did everyone else. (laughs) I I forgot the Breath of of the Wild was on Wii U. It's mad. Everyone thinks of it. It's a Switch game. Yeah. Sonny, what have you gone for? Uh, I went for Super Mario 3D World. Okay. Finn. I went for Breath of the Wild. Which makes the most sense because it's obviously one of the highest rated games of all time. But I thought it was just way too obvious. Yeah, me too. I wasn't, wasn't sure. The correct answer is A, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, hey. I, thought, I thought it would be. I, I wonder how that runs on Wii U. Yeah. No uh, idea. Hmm. Not a clue. Cool. Right, game. about the same, Drew, here. Yeah, out of a game. Come cool. on. Okay, Sonny, you are down to four lives, Finn. You still have five lives remaining. Stupid, Question. really. I should have answered Breath of the Wild because it just Go felt you obvious. Got, Go where you got. I know, I know. Or not, if you're playing Metopia. Um, oh, yeah, don't. <laughs> question number two. 
Who was the first WWE 24-7 champion? Is it A, Titus O'Neil, B, R-Truth, C, Drew Gulak, or D, Eric Young? Pens down. Sonny. Again, it feels way too obvious, so I've not gone for the obvious. So I can say Drew Gulak. Okay. Finn Steele. It was Titus O'Neil. Worldwide. The correct answer is A. Titus O'Neil. Jesus. Yep. He was the first. <laughs> I, like and I think, and then, and I think our, tr- our truth won it about a minute later, and then. The rest it is history, I guess. <laughs> God damn it, that, that title sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? It's yeah. absolutely awful. I don't even know. Like, is the is the old spice guy the champ now? I don't fucking know what's going on. <laughs> That's Rick Boogs, that is from NXT. Is it? Yeah. Cross. Anybody? Yeah. Okay. So, Sonny, you have lost another life. You have three lives remaining. But still all to play for. The same thing happened last week, and you managed to claw it back. Finn, five lives remaining still. Now. Yeah. Question number three. Before joining WWE, Seamus was a bodyguard for which famous singer? Is it A, Prince, B, David Bowie, C, Bono, or D, Liam Gallagher? Down, Sonny, who have you gone for? Total guess. I went for Bowie. Okay, Finn. I went for Bono because Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. Now I was going to say, don't overthink this, but I thought that might be too easy. But yes, the correct answer is Bono. Me. (laughs) Again, that's that's me overthinking. That is because (laughs) overthinking. Yep. Gotta, gotta be. Is it, gotta are be you scarred from me to putting difficult questions in previous <laughs> weeks? <laughs> Maybe. No, I'm just. I think I'm just sort of just overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so another yeah, life lost. I'm here for a good time. Yeah, Not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Three lives lost, two remaining. Finn, all five lives. Two match points if this was uh, if this was tennis, but there we go. Mm. Um, right, sure. question number five. Four. Four. Of course, it's four. <laughs> Sorry, question number that's five. my fault. The U.S. Air Force used which games console to create a cluster of supercomputers? Was it a the Xbox One? B, the Dreamcast, C, the PS3, or D, the Xbox Series X. Pens down. Sonny, what have you gone for? Uh, Xbox One. Okay. Fit. Yeah, I feel like I've heard this before. Oh. I went the same as Sony, I went for Xbox One. I'll go to Xbox Original, but I'll chill on chill on again. Yeah, I was gonna go for Xbox Original as well, because it just sounded like it would be something that that would happen with. Yeah. Okay. So the correct answer, according to what I found on the internet, was the PS3. You are oh. both incorrect. Wow. wow. So such was the power of the PS3 that the Army bought a load of them and it made a, su- a supercomputer for God Weird. knows what. Yeah. To look at porn on. Yeah, blowing, maybe, yeah. blowing up innocent Iraqis. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> fucking hell, you went political with it. Yeah. Well, let's fuck, politics fuck you, on this anybody. podcast. <laughs> Games of and Politics podcast. Anyway. <laughs> we digress. So you were both wrong there, but. I have so one they- life left. Sonny, you have one life left. Finn, you have four lives left. This is mm. going to be one hell of a comeback. If we there see won't be a comeback. That's what it is. Now. Confidence. That's fine. Confidence. I, I've accepted it. 
given up. I have. You can still I've do it, Sonny. Believe. I, 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 I accepted Bo the a while ago. Come on, Bo Leave. Yeah, look where that got him. Bo Leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got NXT. Got Liv Morgan. I mean, could be worse. Yeah. That's true. Uh, good good that's point. True. Okay. Question number five. Al Snow's mannequin head, affectionately called head, was the mannequin model for which wrestler's mask? Yeah. Does that question make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So was it A, Kane, B, Mankind, C, Hurricane Helms, or D, Rey Mysterio? Pens down. My pen is done here, I won't work anymore. <laughs> Working? Yeah. Sonny. I went for Mankind. Okay. Finn. I went for Kane. It's gotta be Kane. It's, it's gotta, gotta be, Kane. be Kane. I gotta burn it. Um, right. The correct answer is B, Mankind. Oh. Sonny, so you, you are correct. Just putting yep. it back. So when Al Snow wasn't throwing it around in the ring, Mankind used to put his mask on it. Or Mick Foley used to put his mask on it. <laughs> yeah, because there's, um, yeah. there's like um, a connection there between the two, Al Snow and Mankind, and that's why I yeah. went with Mankind. Of course. Cool. Neither my pens work anymore. Rip. Rip. Well, I'm glad it works. Right. So, Sonny has one life remaining. Finn, you have three lives remaining. Game on. Game on. Game on. What to play for? What to play for? Question number six, open-ended question. At the beginning of the women's revolution, which three female wrestlers made up the faction, the Submission Society, before it was later changed due to the names linked to a porn film? <laughs> so which three <laughs> wrestlers... Which three female wrestlers made up the faction, the Submission Sorority, before the name was changed? I need all three names for a correct answer. Mm. Come on, Finn. Pens down, if it works. Right. <laughs> Look, I think we're third person. Pens it. down. Pens down. <laughs> Sonny. I think this is the team that then turned into um, Team PCB. So it's Paige, Charlotte, and Becky. Yeah, Finn, you're right. what have you gone, gone for? Um, I just went for people who used submissions. I couldn't remember. So I went to Natalia, Shasta Banks, and Charlotte. The correct answer is... Paige, Charlotte, and Becky, who then later made up PCB. Well done, Sonny. Well remembered. As soon as you said that, I was like, ah, oh, of course, that's what it is. Of course. The comeback is on. Submission Sorority. Is that, is that what it was called? <laughs> sorority. Yeah. yeah. Sorority. Okay. So I can't say it. Yeah. Sorority, sorority. Who knows? Yeah. Good name. Good Top name. name. Better than Team PCB. What a load of shit that name is. Mm. Yeah. What was the other one? Unity, wasn't it? Unity. Unity. That was Sasha so Banks, much. Tamina, and uh, Naomi. Naya? Naomi. Yeah, 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 that's probably right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unity. Unity. Okay. WWE so, sucks. <laughs> Sonny, one life remaining. Finn, two lives remaining. Mm. Here we go. Question number seven. All right. I wasn't listening. All right. <laughs> Who was the special guest referee for Brett versus Austin at WrestleMania 13? An open-ended question. Yeah, I'll tell you this immediately. Uh, five more seconds, Finn. What's the right now? Sonny. Ken Shamrock. Finn. Damn, he's right. But I'm with Shawn Michaels. The correct answer is... Ken Shamrock. You see, you're putting it back. Oh, he's brought Ooh. it back. It's for all. 
in the it's... tightest shirt and shorts you could ever wear as a ref. Holy shit. Yeah. I, think I think he was wearing he's... shorts anyway. You think he was going cycling afterwards? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you would. You would think the way he was dressed, that's what he was. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Okay. So, Sonny, one life remaining. Finn, one life remaining. Mm. Male hinge on this next question. Which is a belter of a question, if I do say so myself. So listen carefully, guys. Question number eight. <clears throat> Sonic the Hedgehog's appearance in the racing game Rad Mobile predates the game Sonic the Hedgehog, making it the first appearance of the character in a Sega game. <laughs> but how does Sonic appear in Rad Mobile? Is he a an unlockable character, B, a member of the crowd watching the race, C, an ornament hanging from the rear view mirror of the car, or D, he appears on the number plate of the car. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's a bit of trivia there. I, I hope they do. <laughs> you know, I'm a big Sonic fan and I, I've never even heard of that game. No. Oh, it's Sonic Fan 2, but my notebook is Sonic. Mm. <laughs> Pens down. Sonny. Complete guess, as I have absolutely no idea. And if I lose on this question, there's no shame in it. Uh, I think he appeared on the number plate. But again, that's just a complete guess. Finn. I went for an ornament on the uh, thingy. Okay. On the dash. On the dashboard, yeah. I I got... Orn ornament on the rear view mirror. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've seen that before. Maybe. The correct answer is C, an ornament hanging hey. from the rear view mirror. Wow. Meaning that, Winner. Sonny, you have lost a life. Finn, you have won this week's Eliminator. And are the undisputed king of the Eliminator. Congratulations. And still. And still. And still. The Eliminator champion. There we go. Congratulations, Vin. That was a hard four. A hard four win this week. That thank was you, that you. was a that was a great round, guys. Really, really. That good. was a good round. That's fun. That's a. I've never heard of rad racers ever. I've heard of it, but I can tell you what it is. Yeah. I think uh, when when I saw when I saw the. The, the fact and and you know because I was I was googling all sorts of stuff to get questions for for the eliminator and I saw that and I thought is that real and then yeah the more I looked into it the more yeah absolutely so I think yeah he's a little ornament hanging on the rearview mirror um it's quite clearly Sonic and that game came out three months before Sonic the Hedgehog wow so, cool yeah wow that's, a, that's that is a really like that. interesting one that is. Because mm. mm. you just think the first appearance would be Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. But, well, yeah, yeah. I, I had no idea he appeared in um, sort of anything else before. Yeah. Yeah. I just have this like, visual of him seeing, I, mean, I think I've seen it before, of him hanging from a... Like, like swinging from a rear view mirror, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. But yeah, so next week, my turn to ask the questions. If you need to. Oh, the right to challenge so me just for the context, time, there it is. There's a picture from Rad oh, wow. Racers. Look just that. pulled that off the internet, and there is uh, a very tiny little Sonic the Hedgehog there, um, hanging from the yeah rearview mirror. Wow. Yeah, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm I'm positive with all the things I looked at that that game came out before Sonic. So. Well, yeah, I mean, it probably did. It's probably like um, yeah, they do that, don't they? Like they, these game companies, sometimes they just have a uh, a preconceived idea and don't do anything with it, and just have like a little mascot. But yeah, there he is. Yeah, um, for those watching, um. For those not watching, sorry, uh, there is a picture on here for you to have a look at if you wish to. Yeah. Very cool. Good stuff. Congratulations, Finn. Look forward to uh, taking on Steve next week. Mm. Yes. Good questions, Good question. then, again, though. I think you've uh, you, you, you've set the bar high for, um, the for bar. questions. Yeah, I've got Absolutely. loads left. I'm hoping Finn has some of them so I can just... <laughs> <laughs> I'll already know them. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I've got loads. I've got, still got quite a few. There we go. Maybe for another time. Yeah. Yeah. Good cool. Stuff. Good times. Well done, Finn. Right. So, um, 
We've all boycotted Raw. Well, at least me, I have. Yeah. I watched <laughs> it. <laughs> didn't watch it. Didn't. Yeah. Um, but before we get onto Raw, um, Daniel Bryan is now gone from SmackDown after mm-hmm. an excellent main event uh, against Roman Reigns, who retains the WWE Universal Championship. Um, guys, going to put this question out there to you: What's next for Daniel Bryan? Um, well, the, the, the fact that they said banished from SmackDown and not banished from WWE makes me think it's going to pop up on uh, Raw or NXT? Question mark. Mm. Like, some, like Dan, uh, be done, maybe. Yeah. I still think it's going to happen. I really do think it's going to happen. I think, yeah. The fact that he keeps still going to say like he's the best technical wrestler in the world. Yeah, in, in think... all of WWE, doesn't even specify NXT. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all of WWE. So I think um, he will end up having a, some sort of showdown with Daniel Bryan. And um, I will have wanked myself to death at that point. So <laughs> you will never see me again. <laughs> I mean, that match needs to happen at some point. Rip. Rip. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think, the uh, Finn, the wording was very clever. He is banished from SmackDown. So, yeah. you know, does he go over to Raw to try and get a bit of star power? But that's, you know, it's the land of the giants over there. Um, absolutely, please, you know, NXT for a match with Pete Dunne. You know, I just let that be one episode of NXT for two mm-hmm. hours. I'll, I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. um, so many managers I would love to see oh, um, God, Daniel yeah. Bryan having NXT. Adam Cole, Raw, again. we've seen it, you know. Yeah. Um, but with, but I would love to see it. I'd love to see him mm. in NXT. Yeah, there's there's Maybe. talk of him trying to strike up some sort of deal so that he can go and wrestle uh, in other places yeah. and you know do a bit of a uh, do a bit of a, a Cody. Cody Rhodes and have some sort of dream matches, but the difficulty mm. there is Daniel Bryan is clearly contracted to WWE. Yeah, uh, Cody Rhodes obviously wasn't; he was free to do what he wanted. So, you know, there's I'm sure he wants to. Daniel Bryan would love to go to Japan and, and try something out, or maybe Mexico, or maybe just go to, you know, I don't know, appear back on Ring of Honor or whatever. But um, yeah, but it remains to be seen. But I think the obvious one is is he pops up on NXT some point soon yes please i think when i think when we're probably building towards the summer slam takeover um i think maybe then that's when he resurfaces mm-hmm. yeah yeah i think it goes away now for a bit i think so yeah um which is you know which is fine and then but i do i don't think he's done um in front of no, no fans is not how he's going out no absolutely not no, definitely not no 100 percent no um but hell no yeah, so I mean, I haven't watched it, but I've read what happened. Um, Raw is obviously building towards WrestleMania backlash, as is well as is SmackDown. But um, so far, we've got a triple threat match happening for the WWE Championship. Lastly, defending against uh, Braun Strowman and Drew McIntyre. Mm-hmm. Sweaty man. Um, originally, man. it was supposed to be Rhea Ripley um, versus Oscar. But um, Charlotte Flair has intervened, <laughs> and um, she's <laughs> now in the mix as well. And of course, she is. It's, it's Charlotte. Going to be a triple threat at WrestleMania Backlash for and the Charlotte's Women's Championship. Again. <laughs> no, Why? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think she will. I hope not. Yeah, I don't really Surely. want her to, but. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> Is there something going on where they believe that she's in cahoots with Sonya Deville? Yes, that, that, cause that's the way. Because yeah, yeah. I saw the um, the, the the terrible uh, advert that they or, or trailer, I guess, if it's America that they they put out over there. You usually see it on BT Sport, the American adverts. Um, yeah, and yeah, the, the, they were alluding on the on the advert that you know what's going on with Sonya Deville and Charlotte Flair. So is, is, is the thought that they're in cahoots with each other and is, does that mean Sonya Deville ends up back mm. in, a, in a wrestling capacity? I think she will Maybe. wrestle again anyway yeah. at some point. But uh, you know what? I like her in the authority role. I like her in the yeah, sort good. of heel, heelish role in compar- in, <laughs> like, compared to... Um, Adam Bierce. Yes, thank you, Adam Pierce. Just completely slipped my mind. I had Adam, but I didn't just want to say Adam like I knew him on first per, like first name terms. <laughs> yeah, you know Adam. Yeah. Good old Adam. Good old Adam. <laughs> Scrap Daddy AP. 
Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, I'm not. So it's quite interesting. I mean, that's that's the only thing keeping Charlotte remotely interesting at the minute is, um, you know, her being in some sort of storyline with uh, Sonya Deville. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so I, I don't think she wins the championship just yet but god damn it'd be so harsh if she did on Rhea yeah. <sighs> I think I might well, just be the, uh, be the ultimate piss take I think yeah it would it really, it really Re- would yeah I still can't tell it Rhea's a heel or face it's so weird I think it's <laughs> a heel yeah I guess but to came out and interrupted Charlotte who is a heel but then Asuka interrupted both of them I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows <laughs> what's going on with Raw at all? Yeah, I feel bad for Rhea because the characters seem to be stuck in limbo right now. It's a champion, but they don't seem to have anything for her other than rematches and stuff. The character's not really anything. It's just a generic bad guy or good guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> generic somebody. Who knows? It's, uh, it's very strange. I completely agree with you. It just seems like um, she's just, I don't know, she's just there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Strange. From one woman yeah. that uh, nobody really cares about to another, <laughs> Eva Marie is um, is back in WWE. Yeah. There she is lying on a large car. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I don't I don't hate Eva Marie. This has been coming for a while. Mm. I've seen people sort of saying, oh, you got rid of the Iconics and blah, 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 just to bring Eva Marie back. This has been done for ages. I think we spoke about this on a podcast long time ago um yeah, yeah. this was B- back in the they, last year yeah they were looking to bring her back in and it was it felt i think some sort of deal has probably been done for a while but they've been looking for the right time to bring her in now's the time hey if she's improved great and she's gonna play a big part great that's fine um she's yeah. de- detestable the fans don't like her so you've already got a ready-made heel you've not really got to work on that um she's obviously got a great look i mean Look at her. Um, Damn. You know, I th- I th- I don't hate that she's coming back. I don't hate it at all. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I liked the character that she was portraying before she left. Hmm. Where they yeah. had the uh, the ring announcer, you know, do that big elaborate intro for her and all that sort of stuff. I liked it. But Maybe. yeah, it didn't, didn't quite work out for her last time. But I am expecting uh, bigger things from her this time. Yeah, yeah so like evolution, did he call herself or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to write her off straight away, you know, I'm going to give her a chance. You know, I'm not going to be one of these wrestling fans just like hammering on the keyboards. Ah, just three minutes to go, blah, blah. In my basement. Um, yeah, some yeah. fat guy, like, you know, <laughs> in his basement, she can't wrestle, who has, he basically, this guy can't walk. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, and he's but saying that people just... can't wrestle. You see it all the time. I yeah. saw an argument earlier on. Um, apparently there's a Bret Hart quote that's been dug up from ages ago where he said that he didn't think Triple H was that great of a wrestler. And then you have people in the comments, yeah, I don't think he's a great wrestler either. It's like, guys, come on. You <laughs> fucking dorks. You, you, <laughs> just, just no, all right? Yeah, come on. Uh, but yeah, but yeah I hope uh, improved. You know, I'm sure she hasn't been, you know, she would have been in the performance center getting ready. You know, she's been sitting in the rights the whole time. She has been, so, I think. I think that's what, um, yeah. I think she had, that was the thing, wasn't it? She had been at the performance center. Yeah, yeah, um, right, yeah. Doing stuff, so. Makes sense. Hey, more yeah, power to you. It takes some fucking balls to walk back into a place where you're pretty much universally hated by its major- <laughs> its fan base. Exactly, mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah fair but, um, yeah, you know what? I'm all for it. Fuck it. Team Eva Marie on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, another another debut happened on Raw. Mansoor, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Mansoor. There he hey. is getting um, getting a brand new smile from Sheamus. <laughs> <laughs> Great Mansoor had an impeccable forty nine and zero record before he went to Raw. Lost <laughs> by DQ. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah. Um, I like Mansoor. He's actually really funny. I don't like his new yeah. hair. I think it sucks. <laughs> yeah, I like Mansoor. You know, I've never You've been in a few main events. I went back and watched a few main events. The main event matches are usually really good. Like we had Drew Gulak versus Angel Garza this week. They had a match a few weeks ago on at main event, which is better than they had them all this week. The match this week lasted about two minutes. It's one of the main event was at least quite good. It's because they Seven secretly minutes. tape main event without <laughs> Vince knowing. <laughs> yeah, they they give us the matches that we want on there. Like, go on, yeah. you've got twenty, you've got twenty five minutes. Just fucking get out there quick. Twenty five yeah. minutes, including entrances. Get yourselves out there. Have a really good wrestling match. We won't tell the old man. Promise. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. 
Do you remember that, that house show that we went to in, in Brum? And there was a match there between two people who were just getting you know, squashed or buried or whatever on Raw. Mm-hmm. And they were actually given time on a house show. It was like a 20-minute 20 20, 20 minute match, and it was excellent. Yeah. I can't remember who it was, can you? Oh. I feel like it was like Lucha House Party. No, it, I, I, I've got a feeling it was, I want to say, Ziggler versus Chad Gable. Oh, Chad yes, Gable it was. Definitely, one of them. Ch- definitely Chad Gable. Definitely yeah. Chad. It might not have been Ziggler, but it was Chad Gable somebody. And the match was incredible. And it was like... Rude? Was it rude? It yes, it was. Bobby Roode yeah. versus Chad Gable, and it was excellent because it yeah. was given time. It was superb. Yeah. Great. It's amazing what you do at that time. And yeah. I did tell you that I'm designed before with the ball. I got blasted through it. Again, every match they had was like not even five minutes. It's like, yeah. it could have been awesome. Like, good like versus guards, it could have been amazing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, matches like that, but just you rush through it too quickly. They're it's definitely pushing Gaza, I think. I hope mm. so. He deserves it. Got his 8K entrance, apparently, as well. Yeah, he did. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Um, soon to be tag team champions, probably RK <laughs> Bro picked up another picked up another win on Raw. There's Randy Orton really admiring Matt Riddle's face. Um, I like this team. Um, it's fun enough. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't it's fun. dislike it. I, I don't. I'm. I'm told you, I boycotted Raw. So <laughs> these these pictures are the most I've seen of Raw, apart from little clips on the internet. They have funny bits backstage, which I like. Um. The only downside of this match was afterwards, um, Cedric Alexander and Salt Benjamin broke up because you aren't allowed yes. to have good tag teams anymore on Raw. Because <laughs> Vince doesn't like them, I guess. Yeah. Vince hates teams and tag teams and stables and stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <sighs> Stupid old man. That, I mean, you've got to <laughs> believe that's probably the end of Shelton Benjamin now. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, long long Cedric. Feels like a and long way back for both of them now, doesn't it? It certainly does. Yeah. They were really riding high. Hurt Business was really good. Ah, but fuck you. That's why. And they ruined it. They got vinced. <laughs> yep, they got it's vinced. Stupid. They got yeah. vinced. You've been vinced, fool. Um, the main <laughs> event picture on Raw is samey and boring at the minute. I yeah. like Lashley. I like Drew. And I can give or take Braun. But I don't want to see this. I want to see something fresh. Because I feel like this is what it's been for a while now. So um, I want to see something fresh. I want to see Lashley be the champion, but I want to see him wrestle other people. Yeah. Yeah. Not Drew, not Braun. Not Drew, yeah. Not Not Drew, not Braun. Yeah. I feel like the draft needs to happen so Drew can go to SmackDown. Mm. Give him a bit of of freshening up. And Reigns goes to Raw. Yes. Mm. Uh, or no, actually, no. <laughs> no you know no, what? Don't, don't take him. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Don't, don't take Reigns. No, no. <laughs> send, send someone else. Send someone else. Yeah. I'm just thinking for the star power because he is just fucking excellent, isn't he? But, um, he is, yeah. But yeah, if you boycott him raw, then no, you don't want Reigns on, on raw. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag boycott raw. So yeah, um, raw was, you know, apparently largely forgetful again this week. Um, even even Marie was seemingly the talking point coming out of it, um, but uh, Mansoor was there as well, and I do hope <laughs> he does well on uh, Raw going yeah. forward. That's the yeah, best picture of all time. Oh, uh, there's a bit of interesting news I just remembered. Uh, Jinder Mahal showed up on main event. Speaking of the main event, with the new faction, him and remember in this in this show from uh, NXT. Yes, I do, you guys. Yeah, apparently he's teaming up with them on the oh, main event. Okay. Yeah, cool. potentially coming over to Raw or SmackDown because they tend to hey, try things that's out cool. on main event. That is cool. Hey, I'm into that. That's good. Me too. But apparently, yeah, sometimes they try things out on main event before bringing it to main roster. So I guess they're trying it out right now. But hopefully, but it looks, you know, it's interesting. I like Jinder Mahal. Um, I do as well. I feel like like when when he was champion, we were we were all for him on the podcast. Yeah, don't hinder Jinder. Yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Chuck Mansoor in there as well. Maybe we can get more of this. <laughs> Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I'm fine. If Jinder's good and healthy and coming back, um, that makes me happy because uh, I enjoyed his championship run. I didn't hate it at all. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Good stuff. Cool. Good stuff. Um, also, probably time to start watching main event. Um, Lovely. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do now is just going to go through sort of what's to come in the week of wrestling. So obviously we record on a Tuesday at the minute. Um, so there's still all the wrestling to come in you know, um, 
WWE wise, apparently it's throwback SmackDown this week. Whatever that means, oh, yeah. there's nothing announced apart from this match: Cesaro versus Seth Rollins. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know what throwback SmackDown is. Apparently, people backstage don't know what throwback SmackDown is, but yeah, that, yeah. it's happening. Um, so we're going to yeah. see the we're going to see the, the fist. I was thinking we'd probably see the the, the first one. You know, like with the circles. Oh, yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. I hope we get the old intro. <laughs> yep, good times. If, if you search for that song on um, the old Google machine and look mm. for lyrics, there are none, which will shock you. Oh. <laughs> you mean not this? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the lyrics, that's the actual lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Start a Wikipedia page, lyrics for original SmackDown song. <laughs> yeah. Just write <laughs> burn, 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 burn. <laughs> How are you spelling that? B U <laughs> Yeah, B U D D A H. Amazing. <laughs> Uh, right, NXT Fun. this week, uh, we've got uh, Women's Tag Team Championship Street Fights, Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon defending against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. That cool. should be pretty good. Uh, yeah. I don't see Shotzi and Ember losing. Nah, not yet. We've got uh, Leon Ruff versus Isaiah Swerve Scott. Yeah. That should be good. Cool. Yeah, that, that, should good be, that should be a banger. Apparently, that's the first match on tonight's NXT. Nice. Sweet. Uh, Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa taking on Grizzled Young Veterans. Inject that Sweet. into my veins. Yeah, that'll be, oh, yeah. That'll be amazing. That will be really good. And uh, Finn Balor comes back tonight as well. Hey. Be interesting to see what happens with him on NXT hmm. now. Now he's lost the championship and stuff. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, so it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, AEW have got a big show tomorrow night, Blood and Guts. Um. We're going to have Kenny Omega and Nakazawa against John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. Why Nakazawa? I don't know. But they could have had any one of the people he's hanging around with, but they chose to go with Nakazawa. Sure, fine. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got a uh, four-way tag team eliminator match. SCU, who are definitely going to win, um, yeah. uh, against Jurassic <laughs> Express, Varsity Blondes, and The Acclaimed. <clears throat> uh, the reason I say that is because... SCU had like a thing on uh, Dynamite last week where they uh, sort of came out and basically challenged the Young Bucks. Yeah, that was after the uh, Bucks versus Seidel, wasn't it? Seidel Brothers. Yeah, and basically this they said... a good match. Yeah, it was a really good match. I mean, they've got this thing going on at the minute where if they lose again as a tag team, they will no longer be a tag team. Ooh. So, by the process of elimination, they're definitely going to win. Mm. Yeah, uh, Cody Rhodes taking on QT Marshall. Um, it's a culmination of that feud because QT Marshall turned heel. Culmination. culmination. Uh, QT Marshall, of course, has the factory, which um, includes Anthony Agogo. Yep. Um, and of course, that's going to be headlined by the Pinnacle versus the Inner Circle in a we're not allowed to call this war games, so we're going to call yeah. it Blood and Guts. <laughs> <laughs> the games of war. Yes. Blood and Guts. I think. I think it's a little bit of a. I might have this wrong. Is it a little bit of a dig at, at Vince as well? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, because he said I think it, he? about it was about Cody and uh, well, Dustin that time. It, well, I think it was. Yeah, it was after that after that brutal match that they had, and then um, on the uh, quarterly calls that WWE mm. has with the shareholders, stakeholders, whatever you call them, uh, he said we won't be resorting to blood and guts like other companies. Mm. which is a shame and that's why we watch the other company instead so yeah because we want um, to see we want to see Cody Rhodes covered in claret that's what absolutely I want to yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> all that cranberry juice <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to Impact um, Rhino versus Chris Sabian Chris Sabin sorry um, in a number one contenders qualifying match cool and uh, again, in a number one contenders qualifying match, we've got uh, Moose versus James Storm. Moose. Nice. And in another number one contender qualifying match, uh, it's going to be Trey Miguel against Rohit Raju. So uh, that should be pretty good. Also, um, one of my favorites, El Fantasmo of Bullet Club fame in Japan, 
is mm. debuting on Impact yeah. this week. I've actually called a couple of his matches as a commentator, and he is very, very good. Awesome. Uh, one match uh, that stands out for me on MLW this week, Leo Rush defending the World Middleweight Championship against Myron Reed, which will be really good. Mm. Nice. We heard a rumours about WWE potentially working with MLW. I have. They must be yes. listening to this podcast. That's all I can think. <laughs> it must be, yeah, yeah. It's about, it can be like a same way like they work with Evolve. Evolve, yeah. Yeah. Have their yeah, I only see network. this ending one way, and that's WWE buying MLW. I hope not, but uh, that's the only way I see it going. Hmm. Yeah, we were, we were talking about this at the weekend, weren't we? You've obviously got some ex-WWE guys. Not ex as in like, you know, they're left on good terms either. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. uh, Leo, Leo, Leo Rush, yeah, he's, Leo Rush, very outspoken about WWE, especially recently with the recent releases. Mm-hmm. He was very, very critical of the, uh, of basically the business model of get rid of people and then bring in new talent on cheaper contracts and stuff. And then, yeah, ACH, yeah. that's the standout one, isn't it? Really, that's the big standout one because of all the t-shirt, the Jordan Miles, um, Jordan Miles and, stuff, um, yeah, yeah, with the t-shirt. So he obviously works for MLW, and if WWE come in, um, I'm sure that's going to be great. Yeah, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little bit awkward. Yeah. Too. So that's the uh, that's the what, what's coming up this week in wrestling. A lot of good stuff. You know, you don't have to watch WWE if you don't want to. There's plenty out there to watch. But you know, across okay. NXT, AEW, MLW, and actually SmackDown with Cesaro versus Seth Rollins, this is mm. a very promising week of wrestling coming up. Yeah. Absolutely. Speaking of uh, leaving on lots of good terms, I remember how Mickey James got a. Uh, Mickey James got her gear sent in the trash bag back to her. Yeah. Trash bag. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the same thing happened to Chelsea Green, except it wasn't her belongings. It was Natalia's belongings. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So someone put Natalia's belongings in a trash bag and sent to Chelsea Green. Apparently, um, that, that, <laughs> that's been going back as far as Gail Kim. That sort really? of treatment of your stuff being sent to you in a black bag, in a bin bag, basically. Wow. Cool. And Mickey James is the first one to really call it out. And yeah. also yeah. got Mark Carano fired. Unlucky. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mad. <laughs> unlucky. That's why you know don't treat your ex workers like shit. They're they're still people yeah. at the end of the day. Um, is that, it must be. It be? I mean, that sorry, explains I, why Chelsea Green doesn't wear much clothes on her Instagram because she hasn't got any because they're still in WWE. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah, well, me yeah. neither. Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> Remember when she replied to your tweet? I do. Yeah. Oh shit. Let me give about her ca- about Go her ahead. calendar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a glorious day. Yeah, I said I was going to mm-hmm. buy Steve the calendar, and uh, I can't remember what she put, but she mm. replied. Yeah, nice. Are you going to buy it me because I'm a, I'm a big big fan of her work. <laughs> yeah, you're a huge <laughs> you're a huge Chelsea Green mark. You know, mm. loves yeah. her skill in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say before I cut you off? Just how hard is it for them, for a multi-billion dollar company to put your belongings into a FedEx box and send it? Yeah, no bin bag, no bin bag needed. What the fuck? It's just disgraceful. Why the bin bag? Yeah. It really is. But bin bag with a, with a post-it note on it as well, of all things. Yeah. Yeah, it happened. Jeez. I think, think Chelsea Green revealed that it happened to um, to Matt as well. Obviously, you know, Zach Ryder, her, her, her fiancé happened to him. And yeah, apparently all the way back to... Like even Gail Kim has come out and said, "Yep, same happened to me." And when did she leave? Fuck a long you know. time ago. She's long been long very ago, outspoken yeah. about her time in WWE. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I was always, I'm always a big fan of Gail Kim. But yeah, it's uh, it's about time that stuff like this is, you know, is brought to light. People can't be treated like shit. It's you know, no. 2021. People should be treated with uh, some degree of respect, especially when you know, in some roundabout way, they have helped you make money. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is good what stuff. It is. Um, right. I think that's pretty much it. That is it. Yeah. Unless, any, unless anybody else has got anything they want to say. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. That's it. Okay. That's it, mate. All yeah. right. So we'll be back next week with another episode of the Games and Grats podcast. Uh, but for now, this has been episode 141 of the Games and Grats podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games graps. We'll be back next week. My name is Sonny G, and I've been with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve. See you later. And we will indeed see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Bye.
Can I anally probe you, please? 